Stock buybacks have been at record highs, $1 trillion in 2018 and potentially surpassing that level in 2019. All of this activity has been financed by debt. With investors seeking more returns, corporate debt has really been an avenue many have chosen. When the stock prices rise, it has been proven that insiders sell, not just coincidentally, but in fact intentionally. And why not? It's apparently legal and it's been working for them for years. With super easy monetary policies about to get even easier, the magnitude of what we face will surely get way out of hand. You came here for the truth, so let me unveil that for you. Today we're going to talk about insider trading and stock buybacks. These go hand in hand. I do believe that they are completely correlated. I'm going to show you data on this. I'm going to give you information you need to know, show you what's relevant today, show you how to find this on your own. Let's get into it right away. Insiders at U.S. corporations are selling shares at a pace not seen since before the financial crisis a decade ago. Insiders are people who work as directors or senior officers of companies whose compensation often includes things like stock options and common shares, so they have a vested financial interest in the companies for which they play key roles. Now, this article is actually from a couple months ago, but it leads me into the information I will show you today. Because they are so fully vested and have access to data about how their companies are performing before the general public does, some investors believe valuable insights can be gleaned by watching whether insiders are putting more or less of their own money into them. So we're going to look at the information and we can determine exactly what's going on in this company. If they start selling a lot of shares, that gives us some insight as to what is happening. This information can be found publicly. I will give you a breakdown of that. I will link to the entire video video at the end of this one where I show you exactly step by step what to do the website to give you all the sources and everything but I'm going to show you really quickly in this video as well. Now, back in August, insiders at American companies were selling on average about $600 million worth of shares in their own companies a day. Now, that is an excessive number. We are watching these actually grow right now. Take a look at this. Insider selling on pace for a two-decade high. The last time we saw this was back during the dot-com boom and eventual bust. We've gone beyond what we saw during the financial crisis, beyond the levels from 2018-2017. Doesn't seem to stop because of what's happening with the easy monetary policies all of this has been fueled it's been fomenting and i don't see it getting better before it gets worse here is one recent example. I'm sure you saw this in the news. Travis Kalanick sold about 20% of his stake in Uber last week. He sold 20 million shares. That's worth about a half a billion dollars. Now here they're talking about the 180 day lockup. They give you all the specifics about it. This is just one example. I'll show you many more here, but this is one particular company where people have really been burned. If they bought in at the beginning, they've watched this stock take a serious beating just like so many of the other IPOs that we've seen in 2019. Not many have really worked out and that has given a lot of these investors some food for thought. Have we reached the peak cycle? Have we gone into a territory where maybe it isn't so wise to throw money at these companies in the way we do? Maybe we should be a little bit more conservative and so on. This was an excellent article written in the Washington Post. Company insiders are selling stock during buyback programs and making additional profits when stock prices jump and it's legal. So you can actually go through the entire thing. There's a lot in here. I just wanted to cover a few points from this because I do believe this data is really key. The companies are doing so much purchasing, they're moving the stock price. And this is according to the SEC commissioner. Isn't it market manipulation for a company to say we're doing a buyback and then an officer says, I'm going to sell? Of course, back in the day, it was considered market manipulation, but that has changed. Remember, stock buybacks are the number one reason why the stock prices have risen so high. That's a documented fact. It is known. It's public there's nothing hiding about that you can see that information for yourself i've covered it here on the channel or you can look it up wherever you want a review by the washington post found that insider stock sales during buybacks are surprisingly common at least 500 insiders sold during buyback programs at their companies in just one 15 month period more than 50 of the insider sellers were chief executives in this study here you can see in the uh, second last paragraph insider 
insiders were twice as likely to sell on the days following buyback announcements as they were in the days leading up to the announcements. Their average sale was also five times larger than before the announcement at about $500,000. I'm just trying to give you an idea of the magnitude and the involvement here. It's not just a coincidence. It hasn't just been one or two times. We're talking about every single time these insiders are selling. They purposely push the price up and they sell some stock. And this is how they finance their lives and whatever they want to do on their own time, that's totally fine. But we have to start addressing the entire cycle here. How is this all working? How does it come full circle? We have easy monetary policies by the Federal Reserve. We have these companies issuing debt. They are able to fund these stock buyback programs because of those easy monetary policies. And then you have massive stock buyback programs that the insiders are able to take advantage of. And guess what? The CEOs and all of the executives are the ones that benefit most directly, absolutely directly from what the central banks are doing. Most people will not recognize that because like chess, there's a few moves in between here and there. Insider trading based on non-public information is a serious crime, but legal insider trading by company management that is publicly disclosed is a great way for retail investors to gain insight into what management thinks about a stock's outlook. But we have to watch out, we have to be very clear, because in the example I'll show you in a second with Jeff Bezos, for instance, he had personal issues going on, needed to sell some stock. So you have to be very clear as to what is actually going Going on, you might need to do some further research than simply looking at which insiders are selling at that given moment. Insider trading may not necessarily be a sign of a major catalyst ahead for a stock, but it could be an indication of optimism, pessimism, or internal company morale. That is very true. You could see what's going on inside of these companies by looking at what these high level executives are doing. You also have to look at it compared to what they own. So if you're seeing an individual selling off $100,000 worth, what do they actually own? If that's all $100,000, that's all they have. Well, then obviously that tells you they want out. You don't know what's going on in their personal life for most part. You don't know what's happening behind the scenes, but at least we can determine some points. You can see the level at which this has moved and it isn't a good sign when you see more and more buybacks taking place over the years. It has gotten to an extreme level and there's no telling, absolutely no telling how far they are willing to go with the easy monetary policies getting even easier. This is Open Insider, and you could break this down. There's a whole bunch of criteria you can set. It would output this list in front of you. I just chose the last three months just to give us an idea. You can scroll through this list. You may recognize some of the companies or some of the people. For example, in here, you have Kraft Heinz, and the amount is $700 million worth. You could see who the insider is. It may not necessarily be a person. It might be a company. It might be a fund. All that information is listed here or at the very bottom of the page you could see the individual from uber also in here 500 million dollars worth keep scrolling through just to get yourself familiar with what's happening with these particular insiders and what they are selling exactly if you have any interest of course you could either pause the video if you see something or just go to the link in the description you'll get that at the end of this video like i said i will be giving you the full breakdown in another video i have already done as part of my e course showing you step by step what to do but this just gives you an idea here we're talking about big big sales in many cases and then from there that leads you down the trail where you start to research as much as you can about this person are they having any particular marital issues are they having problems with the company have they just left the company are they still with the company what's their status currently so many questions to be answered but if in a percentage basis it looks like there's a very big concern then suddenly we have to start worrying about that company for some reason. 
Then we have market beat, which will tell us the stock buyback announcements that have happened so far. We can see all of this information in this list. It tells you the amounts. It tells you what the 52 week range is to give you an idea of where the stock had been priced given the current price. Maybe that will tell you something. Is this moving up in a trend? Is it on a downward trend? What exactly is going on? Some of the companies in here like Microsoft, like Lockheed, like Intel, all the big names. You could see the amounts on here. Here as well it's just interesting to say the least i do have a video about how to see this for yourself but you can check it out at market beat and there are so many others out there as well so many different companies that will list all this information for you because often i see that there are articles written about this type of data and, and you're never going to get the whole thing you want a list and you want it updated regularly this website happens to be one of those now, for my friends in Canada, I know that information is hard to come by often. Canadian Insider will give us some information. It's definitely not as good as some of the other resources that we have out there. But if you want to check out some information related to Canada's insiders, you could see it here, CanadianInsider.com. They have some free information. Others are paid. This is just in a quick search that I've done. But of course, you could see this for yourself. There's, there's many other resources. If you want to take a look online, I'm sure you'll be able to find Find what you need this happens to be just one of them and bringing me back to my initial point here all of this stems from the easy monetary policies right now i'm just showing you the repo operations because it's relevant today with what's happening with the whole qe4 it didn't announce qe4 officially but actually it is qe4 we all know that and this is really the root cause i see a lot of individuals and of course the mainstream media who completely deny this fact i don't understand why this has been going on for a long time if you just simply read the history you'll be able to figure that out it doesn't take a genius that's for sure i'm certainly not a genius myself but i just read the history i read book after book after book and i saw the failures over time you see that they make the same mistakes over and over again whether it's arrogance or whether it's intentional ultimately the end result is the same and that is they fail the people they fail the public and they take from them time and time again and when you see that they're talking about this permanently high plateau that they say this is never going to happen we are never going to have a crash ever again we figured it out that's the time when we need to worry that's all for this video if you found it informative smash that like button hit that thumbs up button i do appreciate it very much if you want to learn how to build a business online, how to actually produce an income for yourself, you could join what is becoming the absolute biggest Amazon course on the internet. I created it and not only did I make it super easy like I do all these videos, I made it free. Go online and you will see the cost of some of these courses out here. Check it out at the AmazonGPS.com. If you're interested in learning about the financial system, about the central banks, about how interest rates work, about the history, the foundation, everything in between, then you need to see these two books, okay? If you go over to Amazon, the link in the description, you will be able to actually flip through the pages for yourself to see if you like them. If you're interested in the audiobook instead, you can get that at themoneygps.com. Well, hello, you made it to the end. Thank you very much. If you want to see that video, all you got to do is click on this link. It'll bring you over there. This is part of the e-course. So many informative videos in here and I'll see you over there.